Hi, in this video we're going to show you what happens when you have bad micropipetting technique. For example, first stop, second stop. Is there really that much of a difference? Well, I've asked my assistant to help me demonstrate. First she's going to take her P1000 and set it to 100 microliters. She's then going to properly take up 100 microliters to show what that's supposed to look like and she's going to mark it with a sharpie to indicate where the level should be. Now we're using a red liquid here so we can make the solutions a little bit more clearly visible in these tips. Now that we have a marking for 100 microliters on our micropipette tip, we're going to show what it looks like when you pipette the wrong way. Here, Okonya is going to press the plunger all the way to the second stop and then slowly release it to take up the liquid to see how much extra liquid there is in the tip. Clearly, poor technique will yield poor results. Next, we're going to have Okonya switch over to a P20. First, she's going to show us what it looks like when you go to the second stop at 20 microliters. You can see here that we have a significant amount of liquid above the line. Next, we're going to have her change the volume to the lowest setting on a P20. So, so we're going to set it to 2 microliters. And she's first going to use correct technique to help her mark the outside of the tip to show where 2 microliters should be on that tip. And once she's marked the tip with a sharpie, we're going to have her once again repeat this using incorrect technique to show what it looks like when you go to the second stop instead of the first when you are trying to take up liquid. And here we go. As you can see here, there's a very significant difference between where the liquid is and where it should be. I hope this has been helpful. We'll see you in the next video.